Hello everyone, this is G-Shock Half Fashion Channel back here with another G-Shock unboxing and review video. Today I'm just going to review this vintage piece. However, before we start with the review, I'm gonna go back in history to give you guys a little bit of context on what this model are all about. <laughs> As always, I'm going to utilize this G-Shock Perfect Bible card over here. I use this almost all the time when I'm talking about vintage G-Shock if you're new to the channel. So this will be every model that was released in 2002. Same year as the Gold Defender Frogman on 656 GM and here it is GL150CC-8 JF. This is the Triple Crown collaboration G-Shock released on April at a retail price of 16,000 yen. It's operates on 2463 module, which I will cover on a separate video. However, if you guys don't have this magazine, you can just check this one out from G-Shock Japan website. It's pretty easy and straightforward. I have my laptop over here already turned on to show you guys what this model is all about. There it is. Already stated there in G-Shock Japan website. There it is, all the details already under production, very easy. And now, let's get back to the details on the watch. I owned this watch like two months ago and I already made quite a few videos featuring this watch. However, I never made an unboxing or review video about it at all. Because how special the thing is and I have a little bit of troubles regarding the buttons over here. It didn't operate uh, perfectly so I need to fix this one first. And I was already fixed so it's time to make a review video. First that you guys should know that this is the only one of a kind from its own. There are quite a bunch of this model. This is the 150TC and the other model that from the same um, similar series will be the GL151 with jelly material. But for a collaboration using this very model, this is the only one on the market and it features a green and silver color combination which is very unique. And also, if you are a fan of G-Shock, you really really need to know about this fact, which is this model feature a dual layer LCD display. What that means is that, unlike all those G-Shock I got at the back here, all this model only have one LCD in them. So they only allow like one colorway for display, such as this default black, default black, this is green, negative black, default black, negative red, orange. In this watch, however, as you guys can already see, let me zoom in a little bit here, there is in the middle part the standard negative black. However, on the upper part, we have green colorway. You guys can see that the green display actually floats a little bit above the black. I believe Casio stopped making the G-Shock with this dual layer and just move this technology into ProTrack and make the ProTrack line like one of a kind to differentiate between these two amazing brands actually. Sound of market stuff, but still incredible things to have. From the side, you can see this upper part here is in plastic in gray colorway. This upper part here is in brushed metal finish. At the side, it's very glossy. You can see my reflections over there. Look at it. Where's my hand? There it is. You can see you could even see my face actually. But anyway, so the buttons is glossy as well. Very nicely done. And around here is the button guard. It features like almost one, two, three four layer of protection actually but for the buttons it's only two of them this part here the gray part is the watch band it actually goes all the way up here all the way into the bezel building like into a single piece and this part is like the exterior lower part to protect for the back plate same goes on this side as well look at that so the watch band actually make up almost like 40 percent of the watch bezel as well although the watch bezel is this part over here, brush finish on top, glossy finish on this side, including the light button uh, down here. Let me zoom in a little bit there, you can see my reflections somehow. Let me give you a piece, piece. Anyway, we have G over here in green colorway to match with the right things or this ring around here, and also the right things as the second display panel for the watch. At home time, you can see the year, the month, the day, basically the whole calendar, and the local time being displayed like very very huge like if I put this all from a distance you can see it now how widely the display is compared to all those G-Shock I got it back here for a digital model this is big I mean very clear and crisp display the day 
of the wave display. Well, there are seconds over there, and this circle here would be the moon phase display. So, since I haven't set up this moon phase setting or, or even the calendar year setting, so this is gonna be left empty over there. Press the slower right button to display the moon phase or tide graph display with the dates regarding to the tide graph which is impressive so you can see now the display that shows the time could change look at that look at that instead of display the lower part we could switch that lower part off and switch on the upper part in green display displaying the tide graph the green display however aren't as crisp or clear as the black display actually there is you can see how very different like totally different things look at that you can compare it with their black writing down here it's like just slightly faded i'm not sure it's just applied to mine because this one is old but that about it the time in the middle will move upward and display up there so you know the time the date the tide graph and the day of the week and the moon phase as well to predict when to go fishing surfing or any sea Activities, boating, I don't know what you're doing over there, you know. Press first mode, we will enter the tight graph and a location, I guess. Yeah, based on this location, which is preset to Torami, which is a beach for, I mean, it's a famous beach for surfers. If you are a surfer, you already know about this location. So as you guys can see now, down and up, up over there will show the highest tide of the day, down, lower tide of the day, the date, and also the moon age will move automatically so there it is you got all this information being displayed just like that without needing to press any buttons at all now press mode we will go to the next mode which is the sunrise and sunset set and rise so the sunset will be at 5 40 the sunrise will be at 6 a.m in the morning so there is p.m written over there very tiny i can change the date as well using this search button or forward button down here and check the torami 60th of march year 39 in torami the moon phase will start calculating it operates like a slow computer so it's gonna take some time to check the sunrise sunset time at that location at this specific time of the year however let's go to the next one we're gonna have a countdown timer so up here we'll keep displaying the time to keep track of time since it's displayed in the middle it's very clear huge and crisp so we have 60 minutes set countdown timer and we could also set up the alert for the last five minutes or one, two, three, four, five minutes. Yeah, that's for the timer. And we have a stopwatch as well. It's, it's already uh, ruined the surprise for you. This down part over here could also be in green colorway. You have the count in timer as well. And of course, start the stopwatch. It is one over 100 seconds. And you couldn't start the, uh, the stopwatch from this button. You need to operate it using this like button instead. Similar to the DWX 110 video, I already made. I already made a video about that Jigglot before, and I believe this guy operates in similar way. There is reset, split time, and search. So like button will be from this, this forward button down here. There is in blue colorway, which I'll show you guys after. But you know what? Let's go to the next mode first. Yeah, since since we already operate the mode, we're gonna go back to home time instead timer stopwatch and lastly will be the alarm you have snooze signal alarm number one number two only three of them but you can set up the day of the week the specific date that you want the alarm to ring as well which is neat just in case you are wondering when you want to go to surfing you can check the date and the tide graph based on that location when is the right time or date for you to go surfing and you can set up the time in the watch and the specific date to keep reminding you of you that you need to go surfing on that specific day. You know, that's sort of a neat thing to have combined together all those functions and you could use the timer stopwatch while you are doing the sports activity, which is impressive. And you know, since this watch is also made for a triple crown of surfing for people, hardcore surfer technically, so it's gonna be very practical timepiece for all of those type of people. And you know what, let's go through all the stopwatch news and we're done back to home time. You know what, let's, close this thing first green and black display press adjust at home time you can set up the hours the minutes the year calendar 12 hour 24 hour system 
all that simple stuff and I believe most G-Shock have this type of setting especially for Gigalock model and since they have the uh, twig graph you need to set up the DST and of course the longitude and also the latitude the longitude will be used for tech graph and sunrise and sunset the latitude will be used for the sunrise sunset uh, calculation only you can set up the name of the city as well if you if you want to do so yes the off GMT similar things press mode here's the interval time for the uh, tight graph you need to set this thing up of course based on your location for the watch to determine when will the tide will be low or high and done on the watch setting simple stuff but I almost forgot to show you guys again but anyway at, if you press just at home time when the second blink if you press the light button this below part here was display the second layer of display which is in green and makes that display becomes negative which is impressive look at that so let's leave it at green to match with every colors in there which is interesting this is the only watch you are able to do that and since this one in green black and green let's match everything to green by pressing this button over here so now you have a green display G-Shock watch basically you could customize this either black or green based on the model you own if you want the green the red or the other uh, version you're gonna display a different colorway mine however it just in green colorway it matches very well with the ring around here and also this G logo here it's not a button at all you know triple crown up here for the triple crown collaboration let's go through the details on the watch band now this line here goes all the way down in the middle here very tiny things but makes the watch totally unique even all the holes you have this recess part in there for the buckle to keep uh, pop out very well and even the shape are different like look at that it's not just lazy square simple model that we got today Oh, and also the watch band actually curve inwards. I'm not sure you guys could tell that. Look at that, it's curved like that. Unlike most G-Shock work today are just flat. And also, I'm not sure if this, this just applied to mine or what. The feel of the watch band due to this line and this curve part and also all this curve part over here for insulation or for quick dry. All these tiny things make this watch band feel a little bit tougher somehow probably due to the construction the overall build of it now moving to the top part with again uh, triple crown logo over here and of course triple crown i believe this is just cheap decal printing sort of cracking over there look at that i don't really need to coat everything back in silver this is all the used part you know used g-shock i can i'm i'm i really need to custom paint this thing up you know just to save all this from destroyed of triple crown of surfing north shore hawaii this is the band keeper also shaped differently and made to fit with look at that the band the band is curved also the band keeper were also made to curve same shape as the watch band which is impressive no lazy things over here man all this casu put a lot of efforts in building this even though this watch aren't that expensive though so this is the Castle Japan sign buckle, standard buckle, feels very tough and solid. I mean it's lock it, it, it lock itself very tightly to the watch band, so it's not as flimsy to most G-Shock we got today. Look at that. Barely able to move it. So it's gonna stick on your wrist very nicely as you wear them. And of course, same texture again at the bottom part here for insulation and also quick dry. And at the bottom here is the screw part for the bottom. Part is this part lock the uh, the band actually look at that down here and also on the sides almost similar way as this cough master although they are totally different watch by the way similar design they have tight graph and all sim almost same function of course but this one is a uh, quicker faster more efficient computer compared to this one now since this watch have this gray part over here it's right a little bit of space or gap between the wrist and the watch so it's gonna feel a little bit comfortable not as hot as wearing um, such as this or this watch or this watch as well so that is it on the part I already sweating actually but anyway there it is fairly in great condition for the back plate because these have a lot of protection GL150 TC stainless steel back made in Thailand triple crown or surfing beautifully engraving on the back there but you can see a lot of used marks already 
since this one in EU's condition. This watch looks very very weird if you look at it, it's like totally uninterested at all. But if you wear this on wrist, it's gonna look pretty good actually. We'll get to that. For a size comparison, here it is. Here it is on the side, this watch is thicker due to this top part here sticking out very high actually like look at that it's so high you're barely able to see the time without tilting the watch and compare this to most recent model that most of you guys have this will be easier for understanding the sizing look at that look at that from the sides it's pretty small almost similar to square model it's for a GA110 look at that GA110 model is way bigger and this one is thicker but for the size, this one is still not as wide as this, of course, compared to this one. This is the biggest one I have on the table over here. Look at that. Although the thickness is almost similar for the width, of course, totally different. And let's see from there. Look at that. This watch is like 150% uh, bigger than this. Compare this to the 5500 model. This one is wider. Although this one is thinner than this. Look at that. And what else uh, for the size over there? There it is. There, all done on that part. And I don't know if you guys even noticed the watch band feels totally different from this, 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 this. All of them have different feels whenever you are wearing them. So you really need to try each of them if possible before you make your purchase. But in the case for this watch fiber, I got you guys covered. You know, so I got everything covered for you guys. If you found one of these in store, if you found one of this on eBay or any other website or friends selling this, at least you know what to expect when you're getting one of this. Look at that. It's very, it gives a very comfortable fit. I mean, most Jig like G Shock or most G Shock that have tight grab in them feels comfortable on wrist somehow. Casio focus a lot of design features, make them more uh, practical as far as the wear. Look at that, it's not very very well on my wrist. I didn't even need to wear all the way on top holes over there. It's very fit, very nice, neat and clean and very lightweight as well. And of course, the display that is very interesting things to have a look at. Each time you just casually looking at your watch, you could just play around with it, display black or green, display black or green. It's just up to you. It's very wide display as well. You can tell the time from a distance. Although it looks weird. Off hand, it looks pretty good on hand actually. It's not as odd, but it might seem odd to most G Shock collectors or fans if you are new into the family because of how rare this model is. You're not gonna find this that easy sitting on shelf anymore today. I mean, you're barely able to see anyone wearing this as well, actually. So, yeah, that's one of it. And of course, before I end this video, I need to show you guys the backlight for this model. Uh, let me change this over here. There it is in blue colorway very clear and crisp display let me zoom in a little bit as well for you guys to be able to see it better this the light button down here it is look at that there it is the black part is clearly shown however the green part will be slightly faded let's display this part as well look at that it's pretty faded actually when i turn on the backlighting if you turn on the screen display i prefer the black one instead way clear and this is the test screen if you are wondering. I need to hold the buttons for me to be able to show all of them. Look at that. Very much simple and easy. There it is. And that is all you guys. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if you found this video useful as well. And also subscribe for more G-Shop related contents like this. And also for the more tutorial as well, 2463 coming up soon. And that is all guys thank you very very much for watching again this is g-shock high fashion channel and um out.